Hello, my lovely Atlanta Scaler peeps. Got some exciting news. It looks like, uh, well, we've been contacted by a producer uh, that she wants to do. Well, first she thought maybe a feature film about our story, uh, but now uh, Powell and her have decided that it's going to probably be a series. Think Virgin Rivers, you know, streaming on Netflix. I don't know what it'll be called. My son, Eric, or Channeling Eric, but that's pretty exciting. She's even talking about uh, getting an A-list actress to play me. Meryl Streep. Okay. Um, and, you know, a, a B actor for my husband. <laughs> An emerging actor for Eric. So, I mean, it's really looking like this is going to be exciting stuff here. Um, all right. Now, my main thing I would like to talk to you about is to, today is video testimonials. I get every day an email just saying how much better people's lives are and just really miraculous results. But I haven't gotten any videos for so long. So I'm going to remind people that if you do a video testimonial, it could be short, right? You don't even have to get your face in there. If you want, you could just um, put a picture of you know, a pot of, a picture of somebody or a potted plant or whatever. And, you know, just make sure it's steady in good light, horizontal mode if you're using a phone. So I hope you guys do that. I know it's it's putting yourself out there, but you can just read it as something too. You don't have to, um, you know, feel like you're on the spot and have to think. I have trouble with that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, there's that. Um, all right, now, um, I guess that's all I wanna say about right now. So I'll read to you guys, my children, tuck you in before you go to bed. All right, this is again, my life after death, a memoir from heaven. Okay, this is his goodbyes, the chapter my goodbyes. I just got through the two weeks of horror, by the way, thank God it's over with, you know, the two weeks ago, his death anniversary, and then this week, his burial anniversary, so. All right, you would think it would get easier, but it actually doesn't, not for me anyway. All right, next came Aunt Terry. Poor Aunt Terry. She lives in California and doesn't know her way around the city, and she was the one who drove uh, my mom and Michelle home when Maria called them to let uh, them know she'd heard something that sounded like a gunshot from my room. Ugh. Then when Maria screamed into the phone after seeing me dead, things got crazy. Oh, they did. I didn't, uh, I don't know how she kept it together enough to get home. She almost uh, seemed like she was out of her body. All that day and for a few days after my death, Aunt Terry handled pretty much everything. She was the one who was in control. She arranged for the cleanup crew to come over. She helped to um, choose songs for the funeral and she even helped figure out what to write on my grave marker. He loved deeply and was deeply loved. And Terry, uh, and Terry's used to being in control. She's the older uh, sibling uh, of everything. She's usually pretty fucking good at it too. But this was one, uh, 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 this is one time things didn't go according to her plans. Don't worry, I'm getting to the point soon. That's just the backstory. So on the day I died, after the cleanup crew left, ugh, Aunt Terry lay down on one of uh, the couches in the den and went to sleep. While she was dreaming, I felt her sorrow. She felt so bad that she hadn't been able to convince me to go out for lunch with everyone. She thought that maybe if she had insisted, then I would have gone with them and then I wouldn't be dead. How could she live with that? I told her that I was okay and that I was free. That was my goodbye to her. With Aunt Terry, my goodbye was about cutting her loose. That's how she understands a goodbye. You take a person to the airport, drive them to the passenger drop-off lane, give them a hug and say, have a nice trip. Then you drive home. One thing I learned from Aunt Terry is that sometimes you have to run away in order to find yourself. She'd done that when she was young. She'd left home to escape her abusive parents. And by doing so, she had been able to build a life for herself and get to know the person she was with the pain peeled away. So she taught me that running away isn't always a bad thing. 
you sometimes have to um, leave the situation to understand who you are, and that takes courage. All right, Aunt, uh, Uncle J Aunt Jim and Uncle Laura. Uh, my sister Laura, Aunt Laura and Uncle Jim are next, and I will do that next time because I don't think I can continue this. this uh, Terry really broke down like two or three days after. Um, it was just heart wrenching to see. Okay. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys had a nice weekend and I hope this week is wonderful for you. I will talk at you later and please, please, please send short videos. You can look at some of the ones that are already up on the Atlantic Scaler site to get an idea of what it entails. All right. I love you all. Bye.